Let's see what the our, to go from here? our scavenger hunt says. All right. Follow the towpath to Peninsula. Exit at Peninsula Cross RR Railroad right there. It's almost touristy. She said like two miles this way. Two miles? Yeah. I remember that. Remember we came through here before? Yeah. Yeah. Just on your left here. On your left. Oh wow, some rafting. <laughs> you see that? Some rafters down there. Yeah, they're on rafts or whatever you call it, kayaks. I'm not sure it's quite that warm, is it? <laughs> On your left. Holy smoke. So refreshing. You should run until you're not happy anymore and then pick up a bike. <laughs> yeah, because biking is way funner and easier. Less wear and tear on the body. Slippery when wet. <laughs> At least they got a sign up. Sign your left here. Bikes uh, got the new handlebars on. It's the one difference from last ride. Just picking it up for uh, those of you that want to see the whole adventure loop. Pretty cool. It's like a it's like a enduro race. You know, like you're in the woods. There's trails. There's some street. Or you could say cross country. 
Actually, yeah, it's probably more cross country. But it's nice. There's Brad in front of us. Trying to lose like five pounds. I uh, made a bet that I would lose it. So I will. So we're in the uh, Cuyahoga National Va uh, Valley Park. Running through uh, Sagamore Hills and uh, entering Peninsula. catch my breath a little bit let you guys uh, check out the scenery stand up here so I got some new grips and some new handlebars these are uh, 780 wide might have to cut them down to up to like 760 or 740. I don't know yet. Still getting a feel for it. That was my that's my initial thought. And I still think that way. Like if you even see where my hands are at, you could see like I've got a little grip on the outside there that I really don't need. And it looks like I can hit like a tree with it. Pretty good today. I got twins at home now. They're two months old. Um, or almost two months. So not getting a lot of sleep, like not getting an eight hour stretch. Maybe six. Or seven total, like split into two sessions. Then it's something on your side. water before uh, the big hill. <laughs> the heart stopper. Actually, that would be open during the week, that Mitchell's ice cream, which is right over here. Is it after? Huh? Is it after the hill? It was actually back there. Remember? One exit back. Yeah, so you go this way over to the uh, lumber yard, over the tracks into the lumber yard.
keep out sign. Ed Wilde took a picture. I think that's how you say your name. Uh -huh. So I think that's how I say his name. Now yeah. Probably because we're at the top. <laughs> All right, yo. We just uh, got out of that. I don't know if that's called Suicide Hill, but. Yeah. No, not just from here on. So that was Suicide Hill. I think that's what it's called. Suicide. Yeah. I got up it. It was hard, but I did it. Alright. Not sure what this road is called, but it's just it's just off of that spicy lamb. After Death Road, Spicy Lamb Farms. That's a nice house here. Nice rat pad. It's cool. Good spot. Alright. 
I remember there being some chickens up here last time. Bunch of chickens. Yeah. Make up some time here. Nah, just the people that live down here. So I don't even want to do any more hills. I'm hilled out. <laughs> you guys that warm up with that and go to East Rim, God bless you. You guys are working. There's a couple guys doing it. Yeah, so like if you were as serious as training as Brad is here, you'd park your car at East Rim, you'd come back and ride Suicide Hill like over and over again, like just for fun. No, I Is he moving? Did he? Yeah. Like for him to go up, like catch up to us that quick. Yeah, I was up there waiting for him. Yeah, but he was he wasn't too far behind. He wasn't that far behind, yeah. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, just for the record, this is like not even, this is our second year out here. This will be the second season. Not even, really. Now, last year we started in like August, late August. Just in time to enjoy that awesome fall. And good winter, really. What do we got going on here? Some kind of drainage. Hopefully this is all safe and sanitary. Pumping something. Oh, the virus ain't got shit on us. Man. COVID-19 suck it. Right. Nothing like battling the coronavirus out here biking, getting some oxygen in the body. Best thing for you. There he is. I've got my like coil XC front fork here. It's a uh, RockShox XC, uh, what is this? 32 XC. I think it's like one of the last spring coil forks and it's a really good spring coil fork. I've been uh, locking it out halfway, you know, when I ride like road and like some of these just towpath trails. Just feels better to ride it that way. What do you guys think? Do you guys lock out your, your forks like halfway when you're riding like more XC or street or road type of applications? Let me know in the comments. So coming off this road here, this is East Rim. 
the old Eastern parking lot. So you could actually come uh, northbound and come northbound and hit East Rim and then you could ride right through here through the parking lot. Probably. All right, you guys, over and out. Hope you had a good one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.